Hey bag ladies and bag dudes, I'm Sarah Lawson from So Sweetness, and today I'm gonna show you how to make an easy cork luggage tag. So all you need to make this project is one nine inch by seven inch piece of cork fabric, and in fact, you can make two complete luggage tags out of that size of cork. You need a pearl snap for the handle, and just a little piece of clear vinyl for the inside of the tag, and this is where the person's information is safely hidden away, so not everyone can see their name, address, and phone number as the suitcase comes down the baggage carousel. So grab your supplies and let's get started. Okay, so the luggage tag can be made with one nine inch by seven inch piece of cork fabric. And in fact, if you're frugal with your cutting, you can get two completed luggage tags out of one nine inch by seven inch piece of cork. So a little bit goes a long way. Okay, so to start off, you wanna print out your one page of templates. And when printing out this page, you wanna open the file up with Adobe Reader. It's a free program if you don't already have it on your device. And you wanna print at actual size. So not scaling or fit to page. It needs to be actual size so that the templates print out correctly. There's a four centimeter and a one inch square on this page of templates. And you wanna measure either one to make sure that they're exactly either one inches or four centimeters. If the squares are slightly smaller or slightly larger, then your templates have not printed out correctly. Okay, so once you've got that printed out, you wanna cut out each piece to the outside of the thick black line. So just like this. And after cutting out, you should have four pattern pieces. Okay, so out of the pattern pieces, you'll be cutting one piece out of cardstock. So cardstock is just a thicker paper. So this is what's going to go inside the luggage tag and you can write the information for the person on the, the cardstock. So either name and phone number, name and address, uh, whatever you prefer, some sort of contact information. So that's the paper panel cut from the cardstock. You'll also need to cut one piece of clear vinyl and that's the vinyl panel pattern piece. So I've got my piece of vinyl cut out and I recommend leaving it on the tissue paper that it comes with until you're ready to use it. I'm using eight gauge clear vinyl for this project but you can use um, different weights of clear vinyl if you prefer 12 gauge instead, that's completely fine but I'm using eight gauge here for ease of sewing. And then you'll need to cut from these two pattern pieces, you'll need to cut one strap from the cork fabric. And then you'll need to cut two cork panels from cork fabric. And we're not gonna cut out the rest of the pattern piece for now, we'll leave that intact. We're just cutting along the outer edge and you'll need two of these. Okay, first we're gonna be assembling the strap um, with the pearl snaps. The purpose of having these pearl snaps here is so that you can open and close the strap through the luggage tag. Okay, so go ahead and pull out your strap piece and using your ruler and a fabric pen, we're gonna mark on each of the short ends. So on the right side of the fabric, I'm gonna mark a half inch in from the short end and make sure that marking is centered. Okay, so that marking's on the right side of the fabric. On the opposite end, flip to the wrong side of the fabric. And again, make a marking that's half inch down from the short end and center. Okay, so we'll start with this marking on the wrong side of the fabric. So I'm using my snap setter tool and for the completed strap, I'm gonna use two of these cap pieces and these pieces both have prongs on them. And then you'll need the male half of the pearl snap and the female half of the pearl snap. And if you're using a different brand of pearl snaps, that's completely fine. I'm using the snap setter tool for this demo and the snaps are size 16 snaps. Okay, so to start, we're gonna insert the cap piece through the wrong side of the fabric. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push that cap piece through so that the prongs come out the other side. 
And then for this piece, we're gonna be using the female half of the, the pearl snap. So that's the, the side with the, the opening. Okay, so I'm gonna set this cap on the cutout of the tool. I'm gonna follow that up with the flat piece of the tool. And then the female half of the snap and the side that faces up is the side to me that looks like it has a little flower with petals. Okay, so that goes in the tool and then follow that up with the third piece of the tool. So I'm gonna bring out a hard hammering surface just cause my ironing mat is soft. And I'm using the snap setter hammer, but any hammer will do. Okay, just get, give it a few firm whacks with the hammer and then that piece is installed. So we're gonna go ahead and install the male half of the snap. Okay, so we're gonna be installing that cap through the right side of the fabric. So I'm gonna take the cap piece and insert it through the marking that I made and then just push that, those prongs through the fabric. Okay, again, I'm gonna take the tool, lay that cap piece in the bottom portion of the tool, follow that up with the flat second piece of the tool, and then the male half of the snap goes in with the, the nub facing up. Okay, and then your strap piece is all finished. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the little slit in the clear vinyl. So on the vinyl panel pattern piece, there's a little cutout. Go ahead and take your scissors and cut that out. I did cut my mine out already. So I'm gonna lay my paper piece on top of the clear vinyl, and I'm just using a regular pen to transfer that marking on the clear vinyl. Okay, I'm actually gonna pull out my cutting mat because I'm gonna use my rotary cutter to cut that slit. So I'm using this 28 millimeter rotary cutter. If you prefer, you can use your scissors. I'm just using the rotary cutter for the straight edges of the opening. And then I'm gonna follow up with my scissors and cut the side edges. Whichever you prefer, I just found this for me personally easier so I could get a nice straight edge for the long edges of the vinyl. Okay, so the clear vinyl is all ready to go. Okay, so now go ahead and pull out your cork panel paper pattern piece. I went ahead and cut that little slit out in the center of the pattern piece as well as the curved marking. So I cut that out just on the lines. So for one of the pieces of cork, it'll remain plain except for the opening. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark the opening on the wrong side of the fabric with my fabric marker. And again, just as I did with that clear vinyl, I'm gonna use my rotary cutter and cutting mat to cut that, that little slit. Okay, so that's all that you need to do with this piece. So go ahead and put that to the side. And now I'm gonna mark the second piece. So the second piece needs the opening as well as this curved area over here. So you're gonna transfer both markings to the second piece of cork. Again, I'm gonna pull that cutting mat out and then I'll first address this opening over here.
Okay, so now it's time to start assembling the luggage tag. Okay, so we'll start with the piece of cork that just has the little cutout, and we're gonna flip to the wrong side of the fabric. And then we're gonna add the clear vinyl, so you can discard that tissue piece. We're gonna line up those little cutouts with each other, just like this. And I'm actually gonna use some washable fabric glue to glue just the sides and the bottom. So we're not gonna glue this curved edge over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place some glue. And you can see by the blue color where I'm placing the glue. And this is just to temporarily adhere that clear vinyl so that it doesn't shift around while we're trying to sew with it. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the remaining piece of cork. This is the one with the cutout. So again, you wanna make sure that that little circular opening is aligned. And then I'm gonna take some Wonder Clips to hold the layers in place. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to the sewing machine. We're gonna sew the sides and the bottom an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the fabric, and we're gonna stop sewing on the sides where the cutout is, so you might find it helpful to take your ruler and a chalk, and I'm just gonna draw a line that's straight across from that opening so that we know where to stop sewing. Okay, so we're gonna start here and work our way around to the opposite end. And I'm also going to sew a second line of stitching, this time a quarter of an inch away from the edge of the fabric. Okay, so now we're gonna add that piece of cardstock, and that's gonna go in between the layers right on top of that first piece of cork. So you're just gonna slide that in. Okay, and then we're gonna add the strap. So the strap's gonna go through that little opening. And if you find your opening is a bit tight, you can always go ahead and cut it a little bit thicker. Then snap your luggage tag and it's all finished. Thanks so much for sewing along with me. I can't wait to see your finished luggage tag. Be sure to join my Facebook group and share a photo of your finished luggage tag there. And remember, if I can do it, so can you.